guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yin Kai. You can call me YK, you call me absolutely nothing at all. And as you can tell by today's title, we are reviewing my YSL Manhattan clutch bag. Clutch. Clutch bag. Bag. Girl, it's a clutch. <laughs> and we're reviewing it. All right, let's get into it. All right, so if you've seen my um, Paris Collective haul, if you haven't, I will either link it somewhere in the cards or at the end of the video or down in the description box. It'll be somewhere, you'll find it. Um, I mentioned that I'd gotten this bag from Paris. I've had it for a couple of months now and I figured it would be a good time to review this bag, especially since I, in purchasing or prior to purchasing, I was like actively looking for people who have had this bag or bought this bag or whatever the case may be. And really there was like just crickets, 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 crickets on the interwebs. And I was like, okay. And still kind of into, even today, like still, lots of cricket so i don't know am i a loser is that why that no one cared about this bag and just me let's find out all right so this is the manhattan um clutch and box bag it is a very wide purse this purse very much so reminds me especially when like i have it this way it reminds me of like a birkin but like the wallet birkin i'll put up a similar picture if i can find it but essentially it looks like this and um the hardware is actually bronze metal not so it's not gold it's bronze metal um and i really like that as well and the leather the leather on this is a calf skin leather so you know you're getting good great leather actually um the only thing about this kind of leather is that if you scuff it so like with my nails for example if i like scuffed it um Sometimes you might get it off and sometimes you might not. So it's kind of like a little risky situation going on. But um, at the same time, why are you, why are we scuffing our bags on purpose? If anything, if it's going to be scuffed, like let it be scuffed by accident. So it's not as like painful versus you're just because you want to see if it really will scuff. You just scratch in the heck out of your bag. But anyway, that's what it looks like on the back of it. It just looks like this pretty plain. All of the good stuff is right here. All right, so the closures are magnetic. So literally it's open and then you go like in bop, and out bop, and it's closed. And to just open it, you literally just lift it off and you can get into the bag. So get it into the bag. Um, for me, it's easy. It's not like annoying or tedious. I can get in and out pretty quickly if I wanted to. This bag retails for $18.50 in the US. I got it in Europe, so I got the little tax refund. So I ended up getting it for 15 something. I forget the, but 15 something. So that's that for pricing wise. So if anything, get it outside the country because the tax rebate is fine. And um, it's a very, like, I know it looks long, but it's all, it really is long. So it's not like on the inside, there's very minimal space. Um, I want to see what I can fit into this bag. So right now I currently have just my cards. I have my cards. So like my, um, my ID and my debit card. And there's like literally, um, a pocket within that I can actually put it inside. So that goes inside like the little wallet pocket part of it. And I also have my sunglasses. Um, I, try to fit in like my sunglass case i can't if i mean i can fit it however i can't fit my phone if i do that so you gotta give a little to get a little so my sunglasses fit in here um i usually have like one of these touch hand hand sanies and it's just like a portable hand sanitizer for when you're on the go you never know when you're gonna need one you never know when you're gonna need one and obviously my keys of course and a lip product goes in here and my phone goes in here I, mean, I just need to like arrange it neatly otherwise it'll just it won't fit so the phone hand sanitizer keys glasses to be fair i don't have my airpods with me um that's because i lost them but i think i'd be able to fit my airpods actually in here as well very comfortably i would be able to fit my airpods yep yeah so you can fit your phone this is the 11 if i'm not mistaken so you can fit your phone in here um again so i guess depending on your size of phone so if you have like 
I don't know. I only know like iPhone dimensions. So this is like the 11 that I have in here and it fits pretty well. And it's just literally like this small and it fits in here very comfortably. Um, I also have the 14 Pro Max and that fits in here comfortably, but that's what I'm recording you guys on. And um, yeah, <laughs> um, but also like last but not least, if I did have my AirPods, it'll fit in here. And I'm just gonna close it just so you guys can see. So pretty much like everything that you would need in like a clutch, which actually it fits more than what like, you know, the clutches nowadays we see are like very small and mini. Wait, does it close? <gasps> it doesn't close. Am I? Oh wait, hold on. I'm tripping. Sorry. My bad. I think it's my bad. There we go. And wait, why isn't this closing? Oh, there we go. Ta-da! It fits. It fits. So everything fits. And then just to getting it, like I said, it just boop, boop, and we're back in. So yeah. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, for me, like I don't carry like my whole life in my purses and bags anyway. It's usually like my ID, my, um, my card, if I remember it on a good day, to be fair. Sometimes I forget my wallet at home. But my ID, my card, hand sanitizer just because life um a lip product because i don't like dry lips my sunglasses i live in california or well, even la it's sunny all the time so well not all the time but a lot of the times it is sunny like today <laughs> it's sunny outside my keys for sure um and my airpods if i had my airpod case with me those would fit very comfortably in here and i think which is really what all we girls tend to carry anyway to be fair and also to be really fair like our sunglasses usually would be on our face anyway but if you wanted to put it in here you could and so let me see what else pros and cons of this bag the only thing i would say i secretly secretly i wish it had a top handle but um and if it if it did i don't think i would be so inclined to get the bottega andiamo um so you know what actually i would like to know so for you guys who either you have this or this is on your wish list or you know maybe the andiamo is on your wish list this is obviously cheaper than that one but which would you get and for what reasons is it because one is Bottega and the other one is YSL which is one of the things I love about this bag is the Saint Laurent name um is like in the tiniest of fonts it's written right here on the um bronze hardware and the tiniest of fonts so you'd have to like kind of really look closely like oh that's a Saint Laurent bag which I mean going back to the whole quiet luxury I think we're kind of like we're over that that was last year we're in a new year so yeah um but yeah let me know I'm very curious for those who are team Andiamo like do you not like the YSL or do you like the Andiamo for a specific reason so yeah just let me know because to be fair, I feel like if this was a top handle, I wouldn't be as inclined to still want the Andiamo. Or maybe I would just because I like the color um, of the Andiamo. Currently, I'm like between the like the off-white because it's not like a pure white. It's like an off-white eggshell color. The off-white and the Barolo. So it's kind of like a it's kind of like this color, but like in the clutch. So I'm torn between those. I I would probably get the Barolo just because that's the one I've liked the longest. I think they just recently came out with the off-white version. So yeah, let me know what team are you on, Team YSL, Team Mandiamo. Let me know what reasons you are. Is it price points? Because obviously Bottega is more expensive than this one. Bottega has a handle, top handle. This one doesn't. I think this one only comes in black and white. I might be mistaken about the white, but the Bottega kind of comes in... It has white, it has black, it has Barolo, it has green, if I'm not mistaken. It has more color choices. So let me know. Either way, I wouldn't get the um, I wouldn't get the Andiamo in the U.S. I'd probably get it in Europe just because of the tax differences anyway. So yeah, but I think this one might be longer than the Bottega and it might fit more. But when I get it, I'll let you guys know. But in the meantime, let me know in the comments. Which would you rather, the YSL or the um, Bottega Andiamo? And let me know why. Just because I'm nosy. And maybe it'll sway my opinion as well. All right. And then until next time, um, I, hope this I hope this video answered any questions that you might have about 
getting this bag. Um, I hope you guys can understand what it fits better now. Um, let me see, what else do I have to say about this bag? I feel like it's such an easy everyday like clutch. You know, it's such an easy everyday clutch. You can wear it like this. You can wear it like just literally like have it. It's very like envelope, ver like it's, it's very much like an envelope bag. Um, you can just have it literally just like holding it as you would a clutch. And I love the fact that it's just like, it's an understated bag, but like it's very, if you know, you know. And if you don't, then you don't know, which is perfectly fine. So that's really why I like this bag. It's very understated. I don't have to like, for example, like my Dior bag, sometimes I feel intimidated just wearing it because I'm like, it's so like out in your face versus this one. Like I can wear it without like subconsciously feeling like I'm being pretentious. If that makes sense. So then again, I'm always in my head. I'm an overthinker. My overthinkers, comment down below. Hi, welcome. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, that's all I have about this to say about this bag. Actually, to be fair, and let me know if you guys have any more questions. I will answer them down below in the comment section. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. And until next time, uh, don't forget to follow me on the socials. And I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay loose. Bye.